I'm kind of full right now. Probably all those cookies. Whoopsies. Good morning guys. Welcome to the vlog. I'm Krista. Today we are doing a what I eat in a day mommy and baby edition. My baby is currently napping but he is 10 months old and we do baby led weaning with him and then I like to generally do intuitive eating which basically means I eat whatever I feel like eating but we're not fancy over here we just like to eat good food and especially cookies. If you do too then welcome here let's talk breakfast. It's 11.55 and I am just grabbing some actually. You know, breakfast. We're keeping it real here. I'm not usually a big morning eater, but it's taken me a little bit longer to get here and all of a sudden I got super hungry. So picked up a couple of these. These are my crack, they're from Costco. If you don't know about them, you should definitely try them. And then I actually also just heated this up in the oven. It is a chocolate croissant that Spencer brought me. Long story, but basically Spencer was on a business trip to the East Coast and he grabbed this for me from Dunkin' Donuts. If you are interested, I just did a vlog about it, which was a week in the life with me and the baby me by myself and I will link it here. This in the oven for a second to reheat it and it makes it one million times more delicious. So I am going to have a bite of this and I'm gonna make some real breakfast. It may be almost noon, but it's never too late for a scrambled egg. Okay, I didn't really think that I needed to show you how I made this because it's just a basic scramble. But I think the thing that makes it special for me is this cheese. This is the mild shredded cheddar from Costco, the Kirkland Signature. I used to just buy regular store brand cheddar um, shredded cheese because it was the cheapest and I thought it was fine. But last year we tried this for the first time and this is better and it's like the same price. So that really puts it over the top. Still keeping it simple here. That's what we like to do here. Oh, no, no, no. Come here. You wanna read this book? Yeah. My sous chef just woke up from his nap. But speaking of keeping things simple, I wanna tell you what Cory had for breakfast. Also nothing revolutionary, but simple and easy, which is very important at this age. We started off with a Cheerio, right buddy? I actually gave him a Cheerio because I didn't actually have his breakfast ready yet, but he was hungry. And I find that they're really great because he can just pick them up with his fingers and he has to focus really hard and use those, you know, hand-eye coordination, little fine motor skills in order to pick him up. So it's good practice for you, right? Anyways, I got my water going. I have like a big water bottle that I drink throughout the day. I have been victorious on that lately. And then I started making cord some oatmeal. This may sound really dumb, but I didn't realize that it was so easy to mix your own oatmeal. I'd always grown up eating it from packets. And so when he came along, I couldn't use a packet because I didn't want any like added salt or sugar. And so I just, tried making it on my own and it turned out really well. This may be a total no-brainer to most of you out there, but in case you're like me and you want to know how to make easy oatmeal for baby led weaning, this is what I do. You put some oatmeal in the bowl, just eyeball it. Then I sprinkle a little bit of chia seeds. These are good because they have omega-3s in them and they are full of fiber. And then I do some, either some cinnamon or today I did pumpkin spice. Then I just add some water. You can also add breast milk, but water was easier. I let the chia seeds hydrate for a couple minutes. After that, I put it in the microwave for two minutes or so, let it cook. And then one trick that I use is to cool it down. I put it on our countertops, which are made out of granite. And somehow that like sucks the heat out. So then he doesn't burn himself. The other thing that I do to cool it down for him is I add some frozen blueberries. I just get these from Costco, giant bag, you just throw them right into the oatmeal, so then it cools it down just a little bit, and it adds some nutrition and antioxidants for him. And then you just mix it up and let him go at it. Excuse me. <laughs> It's an easy breakfast and he really likes it. 
I really like it. If I were doing it for me, I would add some salt, but other than that, it's really good. I don't usually eat breakfast at this time just because I'm not usually hungry in the mornings, but I do sometimes take the time while Cord is eating to do a quick workout. So that's what I did this morning. And then we were on to other things, just like we are now. What are you doing? Are you trying to climb everything? <laughs> you gonna go get the camera? Ha 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 ha. Ah. Library. I got a bite of my croissant and then Cord looked at me like, excuse me? You're not gonna give me a bite? You want to taste a little croissant piece? Did you have some with chocolate earlier? You said this not the chocolate piece mama. I think we're getting a little bit hungry so we're gonna go search in the fridge and see what we have for lunch. By the way, this is how much of the chocolate part I give Cord. <laughs> Someone wants some more. You want to taste? You want to taste? Uh-oh. <laughs> so usually for lunch, we keep it pretty simple. Today we are just improv -ing. Let's see what's in the fridge. My fridge is a bit messy. If you've seen my like fridge organization video, then don't judge me. It ebbs and flows here. I mean, it's still organized. It's just... Oh. This bug loves going in the fridge. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Let's see. What should we have for lunch? What's your tummy feeling like? We could have chicken. We could have some beans. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. Do you want an orange? Okay, we've pulled out a couple things. Whenever I'm feeding cord, and actually I do this for myself too, I kind of think of eating like a charcuterie. I go for whatever my stomach is feeling, my intuitive eating, right? But then I also think for him, I think about having like a carb and then something juicy or like watery like fruit and then something salty, even though he's not really having salt, so something savory, something veggie. I just tried to make like a little charcuterie for us. So here's what we've got going. We have a baby who loves chicken. <laughs> Did you already eat all the chicken mama put for you? Good job, Cord. I'll spare you from a close up of the mangled chicken, but here's our little buffet. We have chicken, we have strawberries, we have green beans from a can, easy peasy. And then this is a little like veggie biscuit muffin that I made the other day. It turned out so good, you guys. I'll link the recipe down below because it was easy too, but there's no salt, so it's safe for baby led weaning. And there's cheese, so it has good flavor. For me, I like them, but I would add like a little bit of salt or butter. Horn likes them too, but he just wants more chicken. Is that right? More chicken! Water? I can give you some water. Okay. Just a little bit. There's some water. There you go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> yeah. 
You're getting pretty good at that, huh? My problem with this time of day is that sometimes I'm not hungry, but he is. So the nice thing about eating like this buffet style is that I'll just, you know, let him eat and then whatever's left over, I can eat later. I can get myself some more strawberries if he eats them all, you know, all that jazz. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> Was it good? You want more water? Also, lots of times we eat leftovers for lunch. The only reason why we're not eating them today is because our current leftovers are a pasta, but we're having pasta for dinner. So, we'll save that for tomorrow because I know you really like it. Yeah. All right, so it's late afternoon now. Cord is down for his second nap, and I was just taking a second to relax and watch the show, eat some cookies. Let me catch you up. I cut up an apple for me to have later in the evening. I like having my fruit ready so that then when I'm hungry for it, I'll reach for that as opposed to a cookie. But Lord knows I'm not against reaching for a cookie either. So I made these, I made the dough a couple days ago, so I thought I'd better bake them and I've been enjoying a couple of them. Oh, they're so good. It's the kitchen sink cookie that I shared about in my other vlog. Not as good as the Panera kind, but you know, it's still a cookie. We're not mad about it. <laughs> now I need to prep some broccoli. I'm going to roast it for dinner, so I need to cut it up throw it on this sheet pan with some garlic and olive oil and then I'll just throw it in the oven to roast. And if I have time after the broccoli, I might prep some sweet potato too to roast. What I like to do is just roast a bunch of vegetables sometime during the week and then I can have them for us and a cord to eat throughout the week. Let's get to the prepping. Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be With that tip, baby, won't you all night long, won't you all night long Alright, broccoli is in the oven, I prepped some other veggies, it's dinner time. Tonight I am making pasta bolognese in the Instant Pot and as I was brainstorming for this video, it reminded me that I should remember to use our Instant Pot and slow cooker more often because they make such easy dinners. It's from a website called Pressure Luck Cooking and I have transferred the recipe into my handy dandy recipe book. I only put the recipes in here that I've tried before and I know we like. So this is a favorite. I will link it down below if you're interested. Let's make some pasta. First things first, we set the Instant Pot to saute on high and then I put some olive oil in. Next we're gonna take these carrots and celery and these onions and we are going to throw them in here to saute. Listen to that sizzle. We're gonna saute these for five minutes. Five minutes feels like a long time when you have a bunch of cookies you're trying not to eat. Now we add the garlic and the meat. By the way, if you don't have one of these already, you should really get one from the Dollar Tree because watch this. Bam, bam, bam. And now it's wine time. We're gonna pour this stuff in and simmer again. Now it's time to add our spices and our wet Ingredients, I'm doing all like unsalted and less sodium stuff and then maybe adding a little bit of garlic salt because I'm cooking for cord too and I don't know how much salt he can have right now. We'll add more salt to ours after the fact. We are on to the final step which is to add the pasta. The recipe calls for ziti. I'm using mini penne. Okay you guys, I've eaten too many cookies. Prep these sweet potatoes and now our pasta is done. Let me show you. It just puffed up in there. So now all we have to do is add some cheese and cream and I think that's it. We have like a beautiful dinner. Oh my gosh, you guys. Check this out. It 100% needs the salt that the recipe called for, but the flavors are incredible. Oh, so good and so easy. Like I know that there are kind of a lot of steps, but it's all very straightforward and like putting cans in. So easy, so good. All the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky. Katie, Heron, and turn and call. Hello. I have my 
family back in time for dinner. Dinner is served. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. Fun. Are you having the time of your life? What are... I was gonna come get the broccoli off your shoulder, but I guess it's gone now. Um, okay. How was dinner, babe? Dinner and a show, I suppose. <laughs> My goodness. Well, I also just want to share that it's not a day in the life of eating with cord if we don't have an orange. Right, buddy? Do you look at the oranges? <laughs> yeah. Orange. Yeah. I thought we should share with you guys a tradition that I've started at dinner time over the past couple of weeks. Play Jeopardy. Here's Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. For people who don't have cable. Category is sports. In 2022, this team made its first sports. Super Bowl appearance since the 1988 season. Please give your response. The correct response in German, both Kohl and Kraut can refer to this leafy green vegetable sometimes eaten in stew. What is cabbage? You're right. Our yes. category is U.S. military. Okay, I just fed Cord, put him down for Ben. That's the other thing that we ate today. Lots of milk. Spencer wins MVP because he put all the food away while I was putting Cord down. And you guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna cap off this video there. I'm probably going to have some more pasta. And usually we would have dessert. But I'm kind of full right now. <laughs> probably all those cookies. Whoopsies. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what is the most delicious thing that you have eaten today. Like, subscribe for more fun on my channel. And I will see you guys next week in a brand new video. Bye! I've been waiting all my life for something. Excuse me. What are you doing? Are you trying to get Mama's film set up? Um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs>